Hello, welcome everybody. This is Coach's Corner episode seven. I I'm Coach Ashley and Coach Malik. How's it going? We're super excited for this episode. We feel like it's a great topic. Um, we, of course, are going to start with the quote of the day for you guys. Today's quote is brought to you by Buddha. What you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. Oh. Speaks, for, speaks for itself. <laughs> yeah. But we're also going to talk about manifesting and law of attraction for our topics today. So it goes with that um, quote, which is why we picked it. So we'll just jump right into it. All right. And I'm always going to wear a hat these days, you know, might just switch it up. I'm wearing this hat for MC, supporting the boy JG for this weekend's game. Niners, Lions, let's go. But uh, our topics today are going to be uh, how to create more positive results in your fitness journey. Uh, and we're also going to talk about how to manifest your goals uh, with mind-body connection. So if you're really trying to build muscle, if you're really trying to lose fat, um, how you could really, there's no such thing as targeting you know, like targeting fat loss. I just want to put that out there. But um, there are ways that you can, you know, either lose weight or, or lose fat a little bit more efficiently. And then there's ways or certain habits you can do to gain muscle or somewhat bulk up. Um, you can target form. muscle growth. Correct. You can target muscle growth. So we'll be going into those. And then at the end, we're gonna give a bonus tip. We talked about goal setting on one of our last podcasts. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check that out. Coach's Corner. Um, but at the end, we're going to do a bonus tip for a uh, goal setting. And it's coming from uh, a tip that we uh, are taking from Atomic Habits. Yep. Okay. So manifesting, especially for like goal setting. You want to start there? Mm -hmm. Because that um, that's so funny. We must love this book, <laughs> Atomic Habits. We're also reading it, you know, like you said before, if you... Yeah. If you, if you get a red car, you start seeing red cars all the time. I think because we're reading it, we're just c coming up with those. That's true. So let's talk about that red car thing. And then we'll go into like how to manifest your goals and all that stuff. Um, If you think of, it, it, we're just going to use the car analogy because it's just easy. But like a lot of times it really literally happens to you because this is like real life. When you think like you want a red Jeep. I don't know, whatever car you want, right? Like you're just, you have it in your brain and that's the car you saw and you just really want it. Isn't it crazy how you will drive and you will see a red Jeep all over the place? Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I like, wait, or like if your friend, like I remember when my friend got a motorcycle and I was like, I'm not, I'd never seen motorcycles around. And it was like a, a Yamaha, I think, or something. And I, first gas station I went to, like after seeing his bike, saw a Yamaha, two passed me on the, I was like, yes. You know, it's, and you guys could probably relate because it just, it happens. It's just common because that's like the law of attraction. That's what you're like attracting because that's what you're thinking about. So it just really proves that what you're thinking about, like what's on your mind, what you're putting into your brain, what's on your, like in your brain is what's coming to life. Right. So as far as like manifesting in your fitness goals, um, when you're thinking about your goals, you have to like, think about and like manifest this person that you want to be like, you are wanting to, what are you eating? You, um, want to lose 20 pounds. You are that person right now. You're yeah. not going to yeah. be that person. You are, you're going to be that person right in the future, but you have to be that person right now. You have to do what that person would do. You have to get those habits. You, all that stuff has to happen now for you to become that person. Because if you don't think about who that person would be, what they would be doing, then you're just going to be stuck at where you're at because you're thinking about maybe what you're doing wrong and what you're not, what you're doing that's holding you back from becoming that person. But if you live that person, if you are like, okay, well, um, I'm one, you know, 60 right now. And I want to be 140. The 140 person version of me would work out three to four times a week, would eat a lot of protein, would eat my fruits and veggies, would take a walk after lunch every day. Like you have to be that person now. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Um, and also leave in the comments if that does or does not make sense and like what you think about and how you take that. But um, yeah, I think that was based off one of the last videos we did on one of our older podcasts, which I'll try to edit it right here. 
It's going to be right there, that little box. Right there, it's over. But that was talking about, you know, how, uh, like you said, what you think about the festering. You know, so if you think about, I think what a lot of people do is when they do start a fitness journey or when they do start um, a new fitness program, you know, uh, there's a lot of fitness online programs out there. They think that who, like, I'm not that person yet. You know, they get stuck in their, their old uh, habits and they, they anchor themselves to where they're at. Like you said, they don't change. Ah. And how do you do that is you have to become mentally that person. You have to think about what does that person do? You have to water that plant. Just like that video said, you have to water, fester it. And whatever we think about in this noggin and we keep thinking about, it slowly becomes in our brain. And then eventually one day we go, wait, I'm not going to eat that because that's not what this person does or whatever. And then you start becoming, you know, that person. That's what you were talking about, right? Yeah. And just like you said in the video, it's like your thought becomes a seed and then you have to water the seed and that can be negative or positive. Mm -hmm. And the quote we read today, like what you think you become, what mm -hmm. you think you become. So you have to think about that person that you want to be, what you imagine you create. So have the imagination, have the imagination for your goals, for like the really big goals that we've talked about before. Um, have that imagination to create that life that you want. You know, yeah. like you had mentioned, oh, actually, that's too far. It's too far. Atomic habits with the goal setting and stuff. Okay. Our tip. Yeah. Far. You can preview if, if you want. Is there something you want to talk, like dabble into before we go to the next one? Well, just thinking about like ima imagining. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're imagining that we're this person that has lost 20 pounds at this point. We're it, and we're a whole new person. We're at this like top level of health. So you have to create that life that that person would be living. And with like the goal setting and stuff that we're going to talk, like what we're going to mention is like being very specific with that, that life and that goal, and that, that, huh? Clear clarity. Yes. That imaginative life that you have created so that you can become that person has to be super detailed because then it will happen. What do you mean by that? Like if someone's like, what, what do you mean? Like, what's a detail that someone could? Okay. So super vague. I want to lose 20 pounds. Yep. Boom. Okay. Detailed. I would, I want to lose 20 pounds, gain 15 pounds of muscle and have a six pack. And maybe that's just like super, that's just superficial, but maybe yeah. it's like, well, I, I want to lose 20 pounds so I can feel healthy walk mm -hmm. up the stairs and not be breath like out of breath and keep up with my kids so specific specific things that people do in their daily life i think that's crucial so that was a good tad bit we'll get into that in a little we'll, we shall get into that onto the bonus but um yeah going from manifesting and going from creating like positive results in your fitness journey rather than just like you know because a lot of times people are like oh you know the, the law of attraction is bs or like you're just going to think about it, think about it and get it. What we're basically saying is like, because you're thinking about it so much, because you are imagining it, you start to actually just be, do those things. You know, the reason we do the things that we do today, whether that's eat healthy breakfast, fast, you know, eat, eat a, a bagel or cream cheese in the morning. We think these things aren't too bad for us, I, I believe, or we wouldn't do them. You know, I, I think that we aren't aware about the things that we should do. So I think that with that imagination, some things that are tactical that you can do are look at people that have already done the thing that you're trying to do. So if it's lose 20 pounds, get a six pack, who who else has lost 20 pounds and now they have a six pack? What did they do? Or if you're trying to like, you know, if we're talking fitness, who, you know, if you're trying to be a bodybuilder, who has done a show, who has done uh, a show and got awards, who around my area or my gym has uh, at least like, you know, practiced in one or, you know, had the experience in one. So I think because then you get those little tidbits of what to think about, because if you don't know, you don't know. But if you can look at someone who's been there and done that and then you could think about these things, oh, they do that. I'm going to do that. That's why YouTube was huge, I think, for a lot of people is that you could see what these people were doing. Yeah. And that literally goes along with the law of attraction because you're attracting the people right like you're attracting those people into your life because that's the type of person that you want to be there it's all it's like i mean at least i hear all the time but it's very commonly said that you are 
you are the five people you hang around with most. So like, who are you hanging around with? If your goal is to lose 20 pounds, are you hanging out with people that are possibly eating a lot of fast food and going out and eating a lot, a lot or eating not great, or maybe drinking a lot? Like what are the habits that are the people are around you? Because if you are the five people you hang out, hang around with most, you need to hang out with people that like you just said, have lost the 20 pounds. If you want to be a bodybuilder, have done shows, have done competitions or whatever it is, but you have to, you have to attract a certain type of people. If you want to become a certain type of person. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. You have to hang around the people you want to be like, so you could be that person. Um, and that's, that's a quote that's going to be legendary. I think that's, that's just, you know, everyone's probably heard that. And what I like about your, the habits and the habitat, this might just be me and my weird brain thing. Yeah. Habitat. That's good. What's your habitat will create your habits. Now, did that word come from that? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But, you know, you know, they think, think, think those random thoughts when you're driving, you're just like, what? You know, you're just driving. <laughs> I was one of the one, like habits, habitat. Wait. I actually, <laughs> literally, I actually <laughs> really love that. Um, because I don't think anyone's ever phrased it like that, but it's so true because just like what we've just been talking about with the law of attraction, your people, you're around your space. It also does come down to like, I, so I write a quarterly newsletter mm -hmm. to, um, just like a small group that is kind of growing, trying to get it to grow. And in that newsletter, I was like, you have to also clean up your like what you're living in. Okay. So your habitat, like what music are you listening to? What podcasts yep. are you listening to? What books are you reading? Like, what are you surrounding yourself with? Because that's going to be also part of your like personal growth and development. Um, so you have to also listen to like, so instead of you just mentioned how you're like doing less screen time. Yes. So good. Because less screen time means you can read more, you can watch a documentary, you can watch, um, you know, instead of watching TV, like for me, right, I'm sorry. right. that was me writing. Oh, sorry. Yes. Right. <laughs> You're also a writer. <laughs> so like writing things like that, that are positive, that are going to um, positively affect you and um, your growth, not just the people that you hang around with, but what you're inviting into your home and into your mind. Because again, with your brain, what you think you become. So if you're listening to podcasts that are like upbuilding growth mindset, like stuff like that, you're going to grow and you're going to lose the 20 pounds because your mindset's also going to change. So the music, the books, the podcast the tv like instead of t like for me no tv is better but if you're gonna watch tv like could you watch a documentary you know like something like that or like jersey shore you know some some humble some some <laughs> absolutely uh, yeah all i look all types of consumption consumption in food consumption yes. in media consumption in you know friendships relationships whatever you consume whatever your input is the output will reflect yep so um that's this is something that I've always, I'm going to do another, because I'm an artist. Remember that. I'm going to do another drawing. <laughs> there was this thing that I uh, read a long time ago, and I've always thought about this. But, uh, you know, I feel like why, I feel like, you know, the awareness thing, why we do the things we do. And basically, one day, I, came, I didn't come up with this. All the things I've read one time, I think someone came up with this. I didn't fit all of it in, but then I'll just go down here. And I'll try to make it readable when I edit. But basically, it goes from information right? We get information and information could be anything from like, you know, as we know, like we're talking about vibrations or like thoughts, information could be anything. Just light in general from the sun is information. You know, that's the sun is talking to the plants on how to grow. That's their information. And then it goes to our thoughts. Information goes to our thoughts, which is again, that information consuming media, consuming whatever. Have you ever listened to a song and it said something you never thought about and it created a whole new thought in your head? So that's what the information created a thought. Those thoughts fester in your brain, right? For enough time to, for it to become a belief. Oh, I've heard this so many times. I believe it now. There was a famous quote. If you know who it is, comment down below. That said, if you say a lie enough times to the people, they will eventually believe it. So the thoughts, a lot of thoughts, a lot of thoughts, a lot of thoughts become your beliefs and your beliefs. 
That's why we do the things we do. We believe that this is good for us, so we're going to do it. So your beliefs, your actions, and your actions become your results. But it all starts with the information that you consume. And that is controllable and not controllable. All, all we can focus on is the controllables. That was good. Yeah, thanks. Did you like the art? The art was amazing. It wasn't exactly art, but... Infographics. Yes. Uh, but but did, did that make sense? Like, was that just yeah. crazy talk or did that like go along with what we're talking about? Absolutely. It was, it yeah. was not crazy talk. It was good. Yeah. I actually really like that. And I don't know who that quote was from. I'll tell you, uh, I just don't want to, yeah, I, I, I want it to be a mystery and have people comment and see if they know. Oh, fine. Yeah. It's a little comment thing. Um, <laughs> that's in terms of manifesting, that's what it means. Like we're not just saying, saying, think about it, but it's like, think about it. You know, uh, if you want to say manifest or pray or, you know, sleep on it, whatever, however you, you know, that, that saying is, and then when you do that for so much time, it becomes your beliefs. So you're like, oh, yeah, like I've seen this guy do this so many times. I know this is the right thing to do. Or I've seen this girl do this so many times. I know this is the right thing to do because I've seen her do it and succeed in it. So, yeah, I, I thought that was kind of cool. Another one of yeah, those I, word plays. Sorry, you said ima imagining that person that you want to become. Yeah. Image, imagination, because we're all like an image. You're good with the words today. I was, I was writing the down my notes, but anyway, go ahead. I, I'm trying to think like why people think maybe manifesting doesn't work or is a joke or whatever. And it could just be because it's just like not the common thing to do. It's just not like what the norm maybe is. I think it's becoming more common. I think people are actually realizing how powerful it could be. But like, what are those things called? All right, I'm gonna have a total edited out brain we fart moment. Oops, what is it called? The board thing. Ouija board. <laughs> you know where people like write everything down. Vision board. Vision board. Okay, we're back. Okay, so creating a vision mm -hmm. or what you imagine you create, right? What you imagine. So visualizing it. When people create vision boards and they're manifesting these things, vision boards work too because you're like putting it out there, right? Like not only are you saying it, but you're actually like either writing it down or you're creating a board that not only you're writing it down, but you're putting pictures and then you're continuing. Yeah. You're continuously looking at it. So it's in your vision. You're like, you're referencing it often. So you put it somewhere where you can see it and then it becomes your belief. So then it just becomes real and it happens. You see, like, yeah. see how yeah. that works? Yeah. And then you start to do just because you see it so much. Like, oh, I really, I want this so much. I, you know, you're going to do this. You're going to work out because you want that six pack. Or you're going to, you know, put an extra hour at work because you want, you know, buy to buy something or whatever, whatever the case may be. You're going to put an extra hour uh, in the gym because you want to make that starting spot on varsity. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> After talking to some of you guys. That's right. You know what I mean? That goal like, stays at yeah. the forefront of your mind. It starts up here. Yeah. It starts and seeing it, that image, imagination. That's huge. If I could say anything to the youth, because we said this in a, a little prep talk, but we do this for the kids. <laughs> always have an imagination because that's one thing I think my mom taught me when I was a kid. Uh, because you know, we didn't have much to play with. So she was like, use your imagination, you know. <laughs> But we always did. We came up with like, you know, little like playhouses with uh, cardboard boxes. And uh, and I believe there was a Disney Channel show about that, like in the cardboard box house. And if you remember that, comment down below the title. Because I, I, I was thinking about the other day. I was like, what it, was that show? They were like, it went to a cardboard box. Like, you know, people built forts, but it was like they walked Dra in. It was like a house. It was like a whole. Dragon thing. Tales? No, it was it was older than that. But <laughs> you know, imagination kids, adults, whatever is so huge because you can be stuck and trapped in your own head, you know, but if you could have the imagination to either grow out of it or just like, I don't even say grow out of it, the, the imagination to create out of it, because you can always create, whether it's writing videos or audio, um, it's, uh, it's, it always start again, starting with that image, starting with that image, starting with that, that vision board. Yeah, cool. I have another word play vision television. You know, you, you know, you said you probably wouldn't watch a lot of TV mm -hmm. telling a vision, you know, and it's on a um, television program, you know, so they're, they're giving you a program within the television and it's uh, through this channel, you know, you switch the channels. So it's Ooh. like, 
What, what, you know, so what you said, why does not manifesting work in my belief? It's because, you know, the wolf you feed is another quote the positive or negative wolf. What wolf is more the one you feed. So I think that they are manifesting. They do want to lose the 20 pounds or they do. And we're saying the 20 pounds thing. This could be any goal. That's just our like variable. But if it's this or that, they're only thinking about that once or twice a day, whereas they're getting consumed. They're watching still watching bad TV, still watching or listening to bad music, still listening to friends saying they can't do this. They can't do that. Family members saying they can't do this. They can't do that. So that's like 98 negatives to two goods. So it's just like counterbalancing it. So what you need to do, if you're in a habitat of negative, you need to do everything you can do to listen to positive, read positive, watch positive. Oh, you have, now you have 45 negative things. Cause you can't sometimes always cut out friends and family, but now you have, 55 positive things because you switch your music you're reading and now you're starting to gain a little bit of yep so good it's true i like um, it so we go on to the bonus tip and you can talk about it because we you already kind of dabbled into it about the <laughs> about the habit we, the atomic habit uh tip about goal setting yeah so i did dabble a little bit are you going to tell everyone what you're drinking protein smoothie she wanted me to give you guys the recipe it's simple recipe you put a little frozen berries in there. I got the triple berry mix from Safeway or your local grocery store. You put a little banana in there, the whole thing, not the peel. And, and you put strawberries, about a half a cup. You put one scoop. I personally use Muscle Milk Pro Vanilla. has about 25 grams per scoop, 50 for two, 25 times two. And it's a pretty good smoothie, you know? Uh, it tastes like berries, triple berry. Uh has that banana taste because I put I like the I like a banana taste. If you don't like a banana taste, maybe put half of one. But it, the banana gives it good texture because if yeah. it's not it's really too watery, but yeah, delicious, delish. <laughs> so do you put one scoop or two? You go for fifty. Okay, so the so Atomic Habits. Mm -hmm. If you haven't read that book yet, it's so great and it has so many tips. Like I can't mm -hmm. even remember them all. I have to read it, it again. You, it's, yeah, yeah, it's it's like that good. This tip was. Your um goal, whoa, <laughs> your goal needs to be so detailed and not vague so that you are able to like deliver on it. So like, I want to go to the gym more is a vague goal, but I want, or I am going to go to the gym every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at five o'clock and even the specific gym you're going to go to. So yep. the specific time. Yep. The place I'm going to go to wherever home gym, gym around the corner, Nate, put the name down. I'm going to um, work out for 45 minutes or say an hour. Yep. It has to be that specific. So I am going to this closest gym to me right now is fit lab. I'm going to go to fit lab every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm going to work out for 45 minutes, do um, strength training, yep. and I'm going to work out from five to five 45 PM. And my goal is to build muscle and put on 10 pounds of muscle, like so specific. So, you know, exactly what you want to do, not vague. Okay. I want to go to the gym more time, place, duration. I like that, that you added duration in there and plan. Like you said, I'm going to go and train, you know, train upper body, train lower body. The more detailed, this is the whole, how many thoughts can you put on this side to overcome you know, the other thoughts is the more, correct me if I'm wrong, but what you were saying is the more detail you can get on these goals, the easier those goals are going to be rather than just being vague. Yeah. Because if you're just vague, you're just going to be like, oh, I want to go to the gym more, What's but happening? you have no plan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, well, once this year, that could be more, you know? Right. Exactly. Is that going to help your goals? Yeah. 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 Exactly. Because you want to go to the gym more, but like, well, what do you want to do there? And what gym are you going to go to? And what time are you going to go? And how much time are you going to make? Yep. To, so that is our little tip for goal setting, because I mean, I, I will tell you, it will, it will make a huge difference. It does. No, it does. And especially because we're in like in the end of January and like a lot of people have already fallen off of their like new year's goals, you know? Yeah. So this could be what? like a little... Huh? You get knocked out seven times. We get back up eight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and this is a little reboot. This is what will keep you going. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes we need those losses so we can get those learnings, you know? Those learnings. So, the wisdom. 
the create creating, you know, your vision board, the vision, the imagine creating that's, you know, creating more positive results in your fitness journey begins with creating in your mind and envisioning it. Um, uh, we talk about manifesting your goals with, uh, you know, seeing who's done it before having your habitat support your habits, you know, uh, yeah. there's stuff around the house, you know, have your habitat support your habits. And then the tip for goal setting is be more specific and the more detailed you can be, the more your goals will be reality. What a great end point. Um, perfect ending. Uh, we got the protein shake recipe. In there. <laughs> we, got, we got everything in today. So All right. thank you guys for watching. We are Coach's Corner. Coach Ashley, Coach Malik, if you don't follow us on Instagram yet, follow us there and follow along on our podcast. Yep. And uh, comment down below what you think we should talk about in future episodes. Yeah. See ya.